What is going on guys? Welcome to your 54th UDK tutorial and in this tutorial what I'm going to be doing is I'm basically going to be adjusting a lot of the lights and getting them ready for us to program in Kismet. So by default check this out. We have two interp actors and basically this is the one we're going to see first before we blow it out. This is you know just an interp actor with some emissive properties. Some light is pulsating right from there but if we go ahead and we switch to lit view there isn't really any actual light coming from this is just you know a material basically that glows so we want to give the appearance that some light is pumping out here kinda of like a flashlight so then it'll look a lot cooler whenever we blow it up so in order to do that I'm just gonna go ahead and add a spotlight right in front of it so let me go ahead and remember in order to do this go up to view browser windows actor classes and now under lights go ahead and look for spotlight and spotlight toggable. Make sure it says toggable because then we can turn it on and off. It's going to be on by default and then whenever we shoot it with our gun it's going to turn off give it the appearance that we're blowing it out. So now let's go ahead and X out of here and now that you have it selected go ahead and right click in your perspective view and you should be able to select add spotlight toggable here. Now by default it's facing towards the ground so if you go ahead in your front view we can go ahead and rotate that so it's pointing outwards and we also want to adjust that using our move tool make sure you have your light selected and move it right in front right about there and also ooh, this is actually positioned pretty good in my side view so now there is light coming from this interpactor however it's kind of hard to see right now and you may be wondering why the reason for that is not because we added it wrong or anything like that it's because we already have a point light right here you can see that in my top view and it's really powerful so the first thing I want to do is hit F4 and change the radius of this so if I go to light mass or excuse me point light component I can bring down the radius a tidbit uh, I want to bring it down to like 750 somewhere around there and okay let me uh, zoom out a little bit so okay I don't really like that let me bring up the radius just a tidbit to like close to a thousand and I'm also going to be moving it over here alright so that looks pretty good so now I got my point light kinda out of the way so now you can see that that spotlight is indeed illuminating the area in front of it but however I do want to boost the brightness just a little bit in my spotlight so if I go ahead and select that spotlight I can go ahead and hit F4 and now the brightness of the spotlight I can go ahead and pump up and if you looked in my perspective view you can see that that spotlight did indeed get a little bit brighter so now let me go ahead and the very first thing I want to do before I forget is just go ahead and build my lights uh, might as well just go ahead and build everything and I don't have any mini stories to tell you guys this time I'm sorry so we're just gonna have to wait in silence so let me go ahead and close and hit play from here and now you can see with that point light radius taken down a bit and moved out of the way and the brightness of the spotlight pumped up it now looks like a nice spotlight is coming from this static mesh or interp actor right there so that's the effect we're going for so then it's gonna look really cool whenever we shoot it and blow it out so however before I just go ahead and jump into that first of all I want to hop over to unlit mode because we already know that our light set up properly so we can go ahead and hop over to unlit mode just to see everything a little bit easier what I want to do is in case you guys forgot or in case I didn't even tell you guys I'm going to start the level with this light showing and then I'm gonna blow it out and then I wanna have this light appear because remember this light has the emissive light properties on it and this light is pretty much our dull blown out light so by default I wanna start the level with this light hidden so go ahead and double click it and under display you're gonna have this hidden checkbox now you're gonna wanna go ahead and select this and whenever you do whenever you play your level this lights gonna be hidden now I know it it doesn't hide it um, whenever you're designing it but trust me whenever you play your level it's gonna be hidden now the next thing I want to do is this let me go ahead and try to explain it let me go ahead and hit play from here and if you look that static mesh 
is indeed hidden. I know it's a little bit dark to see, but trust me, it's hidden. Another thing I want to point out is whenever we shoot this, I know it's kind of hard to see, but my bullets are going right through that static mesh, and it doesn't look realistic. It's just kind of going right through that static mesh, and we actually need the bullets to collide with that static mesh, or else it'll never take damage. So let me go ahead and actually... This is kind of bothering me that it's not lit up exactly how we want it to. There we go. Check it out. Now we can see both lights. Ooh, yeah, that's nice right there. So anyways, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be changing the collision properties of that light that's lit up as soon as this dumb thing ends. So in order to do that, go ahead and select your static mesh, or excuse me, interb actor right there, and hit F4, and under collision, Right now you can see that the collision type is no collision. What this means is that if you bump into it with your player, it's going to be able to run right through it. If you shoot it with a gun, the bullets are going to go right through it. So how can this take damage and how can we blow it up if our bullets are going just right through it? Well it can't, so we need to change that from no collision to block all. What this means is that anything is able to hit it. Your player, your bullets, a sword, your fist, a foot a tuna fish sandwich, anything. So now, let me just go ahead and hit play from here one last time and check it out. Now whenever we shoot it, our bullets are indeed bouncing off it and turning that light black. And another thing, if you noticed, there's no light right here. It is indeed hidden. So what we're gonna be doing in the next tutorial is shooting this light, blowing out the game light and the properties and switching this light with this light right here, and we're going to be doing all in Kismet. <laughs> Ugh, I got whooping cough. Going to be doing all in Kismet. It's going to be awesome, amazing, absolutely fantastic. So I will see you guys in the next tutorial where we will be finishing up this project.